All right, let's work on the final page of the review. Okay, so the final page is here. Um, we're asked, determine whether each point lies on the circle, then do the following. If it lies on the circle, use symmetry to determine another point on the circle. But if it does not lie in the circle, describe whether it will be found inside or outside the circle. So for this first one, our center, HK, is 0, 0. So well, you could write this for your equation, x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 4 squared, 16. We know this is actually most simple. It's the same thing. So this is our equation, and we're wondering if point n lies on the circle. So all we have to do is plug it in. We know this is our x and this is our y. So we plug it in, we get 3 squared plus square root 7 squared, which equals 9 plus 7, which actually does equal our radius squared, 16. So that means point n lies on the circle. But we want to know another point using symmetry. So I made this little graph here. So what you'll notice is I have h equals 0, our k equals 0, so I'll put on 0, and our radius here is 4, so let's have it on 4. So you can see I put in the point 3 comma square root 7, there it is right there, <laughs> and we want to find another point. Now the idea here is we can look at the distance from the x-axis to that point, let me throw this right here, we could look at the distance from here to the x-axis, that is our y value, right? That's square root 7. So all we have to do is go directly down where x equals 3, so our point down here should be 3, comma, and if that distance from the x-axis, which is our line of symmetry here, is 7, this must also be, sorry, square root 7, this must also be square root 7. Now, if this is square root 7, and we're going below the x-axis, then we know that this must be exactly negative square root 7. So let's try it out. See, there's that point. Now imagine we wanted to take this point here, our original point, 3 square root 7, and find its point on the other side of the y-axis. So let's go back here. Now remember, our distance here from the y-axis to our point is 3. That distance is 3. So let's go through three units in the other direction. Our axis right here, the y-axis, which are, is our axis of symmetry here, is like a mirror. Right? If you're standing six feet away from a mirror, your reflection should look six feet away from the mirror. So, <clears throat> this point should be, it's going to be the same height, so we'll put square root 7 as our y-value. But what is the x value? Well, we're moving 3 units to the left of 0, which means we end up at negative 3. So if you want to see how that works, you can plug in negative 3 comma square root 7. Oh, there we are. So we have that point as well. Now let's go through a few more of these questions. This should be we said all we really did was we looked at point n, which is on the circle, and we changed one of the signs. So negative 3 square root 7 or we have 3 comma negative square root 7. Let's try this one here. Oh, our center is still 0, 0. 
fluctuate out. So we should have x squared plus y squared equals, since our radius is square root of 65, and we're supposed to, in our equation, write r squared, you'll notice that the square technically undoes the square root, so you end up with just 65. So here's our equation. We want to see if this point lies on the circle. So what we do is we plug it in. 4 is our x value. 7 is our y value. So does this equal 65? We get 16. And 7 squared is 49. You'll notice this does equal 65. So it does lie on the circle. So let's try that real quick. Um, I actually can't make our radius squared 67. It'd be like 8 point something. Let's see if this works. Sorry, 65, right? Okay, there we go. Okay, and our point was 4 comma 7. Now, luckily, our <coughs> um, axes of symmetry are just the x and y axis. So all we have to do is change one of these numbers. So to a negative, negative 4 comma 7. Boom, there you go. Let's try again with the 7 being negative. Negative 7. Uh, see, and the idea here is you can check your work by plugging in those values. So we said one of the new points was negative 4 comma 7. So if we plug that in to our equation, we get negative 4 squared plus 7 squared, which equals 16 plus 49, which is also 65. Right? The same thing would be true if you plugged in positive 4, negative 7. 4 squared plus negative 7 squared, the same thing happens. So there you are, those points will work. Let's try one that does not have this center at 0, 0. So x plus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 1 30. That's our radius squared. Let's see if point n lies on this circle. We will plug it in for x. Remember this is x, y. And negative 5 for y. What does this give us? We get negative 9 squared plus negative 7 squared, which equals 81 plus 49, <coughs> which gives us 130. So it lies on the circle. Point n lies on the circle. Now how do you find another point on that circle using symmetry? Well, Remember, hk is negative 1 comma 2. So let's go back here. h is negative 1. k is positive 2. And our radius is square root of 130. So let's check this out. What was our point? Our point was negative 10, negative 5. And you'll see it lies on that circle. But now we're kind of dealing with the situation where I can screen grab this. There we go. We can't just plug in the different sign, 10, negative 5. See, it's off the circle. It's because the axes of symmetry have moved. So what we can do is, and I'll just post this here, 
is we know that this point, negative 10, comma, negative 5, we want to first look at its distance from the x, sorry, our axis of symmetry here, which is our k value, right? Our k value here is 2. And whatever that distance is, we will just go that same distance across that axis of symmetry. So how do we get from negative 5 to positive 2? This is positive 2 right here. y equals 2. So we know this is a distance of 7. If we went the same distance across the axis of symmetry, where would we be? Well, this is y equals 2, and we're going 7 units up, so this should be negative 10 comma 9. Alright, so let's try that out. Negative 10 comma 9. How about if we want to go across that green axis? If we want to go across that green axis of symmetry, which is the line, let me use some green, x equals negative 1, since we know our h is negative 1 here, we want to see how do we get from negative 10, which is right here, negative 10, all the way to negative 1. Well, we know it's 9 units. So now let's go 9 units across that axis. So we should know we're going to remain with the same y value. We're sticking to y equals negative 5. It's 5 units down from the origin. But what is our x value? Well, if this point right here is negative 1, and we've got 9 units, what is 9 units from negative 1? should go 8. Let's try that out real quick. 8, negative 5. Ah, there we are. Lies on the circle. Cool. Now let's do one of these problems. Where the point does not lie on the circle. So x minus 2 squared plus y plus 5 squared equals 36. If we plug this point in, we get 8 comma, sorry, 8 minus 2 squared plus negative 4 plus 5 squared, which equals 6 squared plus 1 squared, which is 37. Do you know, since it doesn't lie on the circle, it's not equal to the radius squared, whether it sits on the inside or the outside of that circle. Well, if the number is greater than your radius squared, then it sits on the outside. 0 0.8 comma negative 4 is on the outside. 